Uh, that's Vishu versus Hikaru, our big matchup for right now, and that's what we'll be focusing on. And the players are quickly getting to their tabia of the Berlin defense. And look at this. Are, is he going to allow an ending? No, he's not. We're he going goes back for to the rookie line. one. And the players are repeating uh, the, the game of game three today between Magnus and Sergei in New York City. Night of five. So no, of three. we're not going to the variation. We're going to see the line with the follow of Bikikaru with in the, was it the classical or the rapid? In the rapid, rapid. rapid. that yes. beautiful queen e5 h2 move. And Hikaru was absolutely convinced his, his position was sound in that game. And we do have confirmation. Uh, none of us could remember, but no, this is undefeated. He's unblemished in this tournament. It's certainly unbelievable considering this classic rapid. They've played so many games, 16 games. Wow. Oh, that's undefeated. Not the only player in the actually. tournament who is undefeated. That is really something. Uh, I mean, especially when you think about styles mm -hmm. and the fact that these are the very, very best players in the world and, they're, and, and the formats uh, lend themselves to real clashes. So going undefeated, wow. That's just incredible, really. I would not have guessed that. I would actually give him pretty big odds that no player in the fleet field would go undefeated. Well, clearly. And here we see the improvement by Hikaru taking on G3 instead of retreating Knight G7. Knight G7, which was played and allowed that Bishop H6, which got him into a bit of trouble. Right. Three this seems three. definitely more straightforward, and if it works, I like it, I like the fact it solves some problems. Exchange, yes, the yeah. bishops as well, and then get your knight on F5. Yeah, it does seem like a cleaner solution, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, the knight G7, that seemed a little un, um, unnatural. Exactly. Allowing the bishop on H6 and those kind of things, there were no problems mm -hmm. like that. Queen D7, and the chopping block on the E file is already being prepared. Hikaru ready to bring a rook to the e-file. And as usual, not shying away from doubling his pawns either. Oh, he would have to. <laughs> He's got his line in green. Knight h4. Okay, essentially, uh, Vichy is saying that I want to force the trade uh, and maybe use the f4 pawn as a lever, but I, again, rook e8. Very natural move. This is so much more convincing than the game he got against oh, the Oh, no question Absolutely. about it. We're all in absolute agreement about that. Even in these positions, when black plays knight f5, which is yeah. actually the, the worst thing, and there's a lot of trades and there's a doubled f pawn. It's still uh, not over. No, well, I was just saying that I think it's so balanced. I don't think uh, that either player uh, would be able to do anything Watch that. With that but okay, rookie three, he still got Isn't that I extra half. Knight five, maybe? Oh, definitely, yeah, because he's knight f5 in this position. Yeah. I would as well. Ooh, it and just neutralizes for a, moment there. A, lot of, a lot of problems. Mm. I could have sworn, guys, it looked there for a moment that Carl was re re right. reaching for either his f pawn or his g pawn. And Neither of case, which I can recommend. Exactly. Yeah, because if the rook comes to e1, that's what White, I think, wants to do next. Then you cannot play knight f5. I I think knight f5 makes a lot of sense right now. Well, the problem with knight c8 is it might allow a knight g6 uh, type of sacrifice. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that. Not right. in the blitz game. Not in the blitz game. But the cards. Oh, queen g4. Okay. Very interesting. That's so well, the f4 bond. Very Provoking tactical solution. g3. Very nice. Provoking g3. G3 seems like the, like the only way. I wouldn't right. say that's necessarily true. You can consider rook a1 as well. Uh, excuse me, you're actually you're much, I uh, take it back, look at E1 is, is definitely the right and move. And that's what yeah. done. Because G3 was nothing, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. And King F7, very quickly, wow. not going for the trade of knights. So there's no Queen E2 in this position, which is very important. But if I play, yeah, G3, and now Knight C8, now Knight C8. Now C8. The and there's no sacrifice on the G6 square, which was what Queen G4 was designed to I like to the brush. way Hikaru managed his problems in this position, you know, not creating any weaknesses. Queen G4 was very, a dynamic way to solve the problems. Very right? accurate. Well, then look at Vichy attacking on both flanks, taking advantage of the weak position of the King on F7. He tries to play C4, opening up avenues to attack both D5 and B7. Well, remember, he's got that slight... A, a half step or so mm -hmm. in terms of development and active pieces and whenever you're in that circumstance you want to open up open up the position so c c3 c4 definitely got gets my nod and after knight b6 b2 b3 the knight 
I had intended, of course, to come to the d6 square, slightly misplaced on the, well, misplaced on the d6. So we have nothing to say about slightly, it's simply a fact. Black wants to exchange both rooks, but that is not possible right now because if they can eat three, white takes with the queen and you don't want to allow that. Ah, uh, good point. Uh, Otherwise, I would rook e3 go for rook e8, but rook e3, queen e3, maybe queen d7 he wants to play then. But also, so he's gone immediately for queen d7, probably with exactly. the other take and just play rook e8. The chopping block of the e file just to try to trade as many pieces. And maybe I would like to play here f5. Uh, to provoke G5, or maybe I have some other avenues to go for it, Alejandro. Yeah, well, we're all over, Alejandro. And Knight G2. Very yeah, this is what I like. Nice nice. Yeah, I like this move. Yeah, and now White has an idea of G3, G4, and swinging a rook, or possibly a queen to the H pile. Yes. Rook takes E3. And play for the knight. That's to prevent any trades. And now I can even play King G2. Which yeah, is what he's done. One. And definitely. Uh, Beautiful maneuvering so by Vichy. Come with a king to two seven, which he has done. So rook, because if the rook straight off, black has got no problems in the position, so he must move his rook away. Mm. Oh, would C5. you? C5. Okay. C5 is played because now the knight has no good squares. If I ever play G4, I cement the pawn on, e on F5, which I don't need to do just yet. But where is the knight ever going to go? It's on a terrible circuit, in other words. It just can't find it. And he is trying to. He's trying to improve it, but it's still not going anywhere. Right. He's Maybe going to G4 to trade it off. He's got to play his rook on E7 Ooh, at some point. He traded. I thought he was going to go A5 right away. I like this solution because you cannot prevent A6. So Queen C7 and Rook D8, Rook E7 also the A6, and now Queen C8. Yes, because otherwise Rook was coming to B7. Right. So here we definitely see that... Vichy uh, uh, has seized the initiative. Queen... Oh, no, I didn't play Queen. It sort of right. reminds me of their classical game, the one that Vichy was pressing so hard against Hikaru. And Hikaru is just rolling with the punches. It's very impressive. He's playing it very quickly, too. And, and Vichy is trying to be block. creative. But... Yeah, so it's down to 25 seconds approximately. Whoa, so he can it. take that? 95? 95? Takes? Oh, he's just sacrificing? What is he doing? Two get... takes? Oh, I thought he was going to go E6. Oh, oh he takes on G4 also. I see. Yeah. And, and there's, there's no queen f5. Check. There's no queen f5, right? Right. And queen queen f6, f6 is, is a big threat. threat. Right. Queen f8. Wow, I like Ooh. that. I like what he's done. Ooh, that's a and counter a threat. Mate. This is going to be exciting. It's always... like, well, well, it might end, end in a perpetual check here, folks. Let's not call it so quickly. But it might be. I yeah, because see. white cannot trade off queens. Hold on. Yeah, but you, you, you can play king f3 if you felt like it. Seven, no, yes. I think they're going to go for the repetition. I mean, the perpetual. No oh, repetition. No repetition. No. But hold eight. on. Knight is not coming to f3. Or it is coming it's to f3. Knight f3 now, next move. You're knight f3 is six, beautiful. And then knight f3. That knight. way you have to have rook h1. Ooh, threatening. Ooh. Oh, and, and protect, yeah. keeping the h5 square or so after rook nice, h1. That's oh, nice, nice timing. Nice. What no. a win for Rishi. Amazing. Beautiful. And what about our other game that we did not follow, Alejandro? The other game was extremely one-sided for once in the entire tournament of